Hi, in this lecture, I'd like to take a closer look of the Flapjack T4. As I said earlier, this is the device that I'll be using throughout this course. Having a look at the product page on the Lapjack website, you can see that the Lapjack T4, just like with the other Lapjacks, is available in two versions. One is the one with the enclosure, which is the one that you see here. It's a fairly sturdy enclosure. Um, and then there's also the option to purchase the same device just with the logic board and then you'll be able to um, add on or solder on the screw terminals. Uh, in terms of uh, the hardware, the Labjack T4 has four dedicated high voltage analog inputs. These are these ports here. So by high voltage uh, what we mean is um, you can plug in sources that you want to measure that range from minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts. On the other side, you've got these FIOs, flexible input-output ports as they are, are known, which combine digital input-outputs with analog input-outputs. And you've got another four here. And these, when used as analog inputs, they are low voltage can see here they range from zero to two and a half volts uh, of amplitude. In both cases, both the high voltage analog inputs and the low voltage analog inputs have got a 12-bit resolution. So the flexible inputs and outputs, as I also mentioned, have a dual functionality. Uh, they can also be used as digital input outputs. And then when used as digital input outputs, uh, in addition to be able to do things such as um, control binary devices such as LEDs and relays. They can also be configured with uh, various types of extended functionalities. Again, I've got a, a dedicated set of lectures where I explore those uh, extended functionalities. So think of the FIOs as multi-purpose lines, or I call them ports, multi-purpose ports. Um, there are also two dedicated digital to analog converters on the right side of the device that give you 10-bit resolution, 0 to 5 volts uh, amplitude. You can use these DACs to write arbitrary voltage and then when you combine it with Lua scripting which runs on the hardware, you can create things such as arbitrary waveforms. I've got examples of how that works and how you can do that in dedicated lectures uh, later on in this course. Down the bottom of the Labjack device, there's a DB15 connector. You can plug in uh, a special adapter and that will give you access to additional uh, flexible input outputs or digital uh, or analog input ports. So this is a way to easily extend the number of peripherals which you can attach to the Labjack. And then on the front, you've got the communications options. So you've got uh, an Ethernet port and a USB port. You can use both ports to both communicate with the device and also to power the device. This document here is the T-Series datasheet documentation. It contains a lot of information about the, the Labjack. Now, of course, I'm not going to go through uh, this document, um, but I wanted to point out its location so that you can have a look at it and um, uh, learn more about the details. I will be making reference to this document whenever needed throughout this course. So for example, if you wanted to understand what this VS uh, port is about or um, SGND, etc., or each one of those ports has got its own specification and documentation page, you can do so right here. So, for example, let's say um, this VS and power supply uh, section of the documentation 9.0, and there's information here about these screw terminals and these ports. Okay, I'm going to end this lecture here and move on to the next lecture where I'll talk about the software.